How y'all doing? All right. We love. We love, baby. Hey, Shalom, brothers. Hey, we want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Makadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And, and peace and blessings to you, brothers out there. Let's keep this word and sincerity. Also, true. Hey, we got some special guests here, man. We got the brothers from Hawaii. That's brother uh, Kahan. Kahan Salaki, bro. I'm going to get it right. Kahan. And then, you know, this guy, this guy right here, man. Brother Yahweh, down, man. This is a beautiful brother right here, man. Hey, hey, we, we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, man. Babylon the right. Great. Hey, we're here to lift up our people, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, you taking a picture. Are you listening, though? That's the question, sweetheart. Huh? Everybody want, everybody looking for that, 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 that world star woman. Everybody looking for uh, uh, that time to shine to get those likes on social media. But nobody's looking for the downfall of this place, man. Okay? Which is prophesied in the scriptures, man. This place is prophesied that, uh, in, in this, in, 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 it's known as Babylon the Great. Okay? Also known as what? The daughter of Babylon. Right? That has engulfed all these nations with this philosophy. And for that, the other nations are going to rise up. That's why you're seeing all these skirmishes and things of that nature in the Middle East. Why is that? Because that's going to uh, 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 culminate to the downfall of America, man. You've seen all these Cold War, uh, uh, Cold Wars, uh, trade wars going on. You've seen uh, uh, Russia and, and China and America beef up their, uh, their military might. Why is that? Because they know what's going on. There's going to be a war out here, man. And we're here to tell our people to look out. So never trust your enemy. Go ahead. I hey, Jeremiah 51 and 6. Go be out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. That's the spirit, because this brother was holding on to that. No, no, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. The spirit wants to come out. We out the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. That's right. Be not cut now, off. Now, we telling our people to, to get, a, a, get a passport and to go to uh, to Africa, which is going to be the new popping uh, uh, poppy place here. No, that's not what we're telling our people. We're telling our people to take our minds, their, their, their minds out of this place, man. You know, we have been, we have assimilated to a culture that is not ours. And that's why we are at the bottom of the bottom, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because we're falling out the way that isn't for us, man. Well, that it's was, for the heathen. Go ahead. That, that's what was happening in ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon was this, this place of uh, intrigue at that time. You know, it was a place that the people were very intrigued by the idea of Babylon because you had Nebuchadnezzar and the other leaders of Babylon basically taking all the other nations and creating a melting pot at that time. You know, and they didn't recognize what was coming. So, so, so here the prophet Jeremiah is talking about flee out of the midst of Babylon, but people don't understand that Jeremiah was talking about a future Babylon, a prophetic Babylon that you read about in the book of Revelation. That's why in the book of Revelation it talks about Babylon the Great has fallen. So why would if Revelation be talking about Babylon the Great during the time of the Roman Empire? It's because it was a prophetic speaking of a similitude that will be happening in this very time. Okay. Wow. Also, why did Jeremiah like it unto a uh, 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 excellent was Isaiah did like it uh, Babylon unto a virgin? Yeah. When you had skirmishes going on uh, between the Assyrians and the Babylons for, uh, for, uh, for years, man. Yep. You see, so that 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 would be incorrect to call the ancient uh, 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 Babylon uh, 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 a virgin. It was talking about a prophetic Babylon, man. Yep. 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 That, that, that we know that's in that, that's this place. You see, go ahead, go ahead. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written of after time were written for our learning. That's right. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That's right, man. And so all, all these things, like the elders and the people are saying, all these things that are written were written beforehand. That's right. Why? For our learning. That's right. So we, when we look, when we when we look at ancient Babylon, when we look at
at ancient Assyria, when we look at ancient uh, Egypt, when we look at uh, uh, all these different captivities that we went in, it was written for our learning, man. That's right, bro. Why? Because we want to apply it to what we were going through in, that, in the present day. Everything that happened, didn't, everything that was written about in the past didn't happen in the past. It was, gonna, it was set for a future time period. Well, if it did happen in the past, it was going to be repeated in this, in this, in this, uh, in this kingdom. Like, uh, I watched that, uh, that documentary that the elders were talking about. It was like a two-hour documentary about America being an empire. Nice. Towards the end, the old, the old Edomite dude said, hey, we're going to suffer the same fate as Rome. You know, as Rome. I was like, oh, man, because this place is Rome all over again. Well, it's just the nature of kingdom. You know, what, what do you need to run a business? You need resources. You need certain types of resources. So, so what do you need to run a country? You need resources. And if you want to grow that country or that empire or that idea, you need as much resources as possible. So the nature of a kingdom, from the time of ancient Babylon until now, it hasn't changed. And the only thing that's changed is the technology and the way that you get those resources. And the acquisition of the resources. But the way a kingdom is ran, it ain't changed. Yeah, the thing, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is there which shall be, and that which is done is there which shall be done. That's right. And man. there is no new thing under the sun. That's right, man. So spiritually, we know that this place has been around before, man. A place like uh, America. You see, that's why it's, it's spiritually likened unto what? Sodom and Egypt. Sodom was known for what? Well, sodomy. Homosexuality. Egypt was known for what? Hardcore bondage. Actually, when you look up that word, Egypt, in uh, Hebrew, it means matazorian, which means double straights. Yom, after, after, a, uh, uh, after a, a, a word, in Hebrew, uh, gives it makes it plural. So it means double straights, man. And how do we know that? Because of the understanding of these scriptures, man. I got a real quick uh, land back off of y'all. Sirach 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. That's right, because what is prophecy? To speak something before it happens. Okay, that's why we were called seers in the ancient world. We were called prophets. Okay, why? Because we were telling you things that were going to transpire through the spirit of your Abba Shinel Shai before it happened. So when it happened, you have no excuse. That's right. Okay? And it says, what he that is occupied? Uh, uh, and be occupied in prophecy. Right, and that's what, we're, that's what we're doing, man. We ain't coming out here telling you how to make your wife better. Right. How, you, how to make your life in Babylon better. We're not coming out here telling you how to, uh, you know, create some type of uh, super finance uh, situation that's going to benefit you here in this kingdom? But actually, no. we are, man. I don't mean, to, and I don't mean to contradict you. The reason why we are is because we're teaching you the way of life. We're telling you the way that life should be going. We're telling you the way that the economy should construct itself, the way family should be, the way nation should be, the way community should be. It's just that you are just diametrically opposed to it. So we're telling you that you're going to be condemned for being opposed to the way of life. Right. We're telling you that judgment is going to be is going to come unto you because you refuse to accept the way that you should build this nation, the way that you should build community, the way that you should have relationships between yourself and the earth, man. That's what the, we're telling you that the Most High has prescribed judgment for the way that you're conducting your business. That's right. Okay, that's what we're telling you, and I, you know, I don't mean to uh, uh, contradict the brother. What I want to do is highlight the mentality that's supposed to come out of the scripture. The scripture is a book of life. It's a way of being that we should take on. No, you know, right now we got this uh, so-called tree behind us, and you got grown people. You got grown people worshiping an idol, but they'll say that they're Christian. They'll say that they believe in the Bible. When the Bible condemns this thing, That's right. they don't know it condemns it condemns this because they don't read the Bible. But if we tell them that, well, they'll tell us we're hateful. 
Oh, that's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. children, they like the light. But the Most High don't like that. The no. Most High don't want you worshiping them. And it's in the scripture. So this is what we're telling you, man. We're telling you that you refuse to listen to the higher way of being. The real way to build economy. The real way to build wealth. The real way to build relationships. You know? And hey, so you're going to be judged for it. And it start through wisdom, man. Right. Hey, how King Solomon get all that wealth, man? Through wisdom. That's right. He didn't ask, he didn't ask for none of this material stuff, but it was awarded to him. Because of wisdom. Because of wisdom, man. Obedience. People, people wanted to serve him because he was wise, man. People, people, you know, they try to say in secular history, in the, in the, in the secular world, so-called secular world, they try to paint uh, uh, King Solomon as some type of uh, tyrant, man. Like, like he, uh, like he didn't, like he didn't love his people, like he didn't love the Lord, man. Okay, but in, in reality, man, through that wisdom that was granted to him by his father, ultimately Yahweh, his father. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what was awarded to him? All order, yeah. okay, prosperity, okay, understanding, okay, strength, yeah. okay, resources. He had the whole world in his hand. Well, they, 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 they say this, that 70% of what you learn is from what you see. You see, wisdom, when it's acted upon, is observable. So when the Queen of Sheba came into the land of Israel, she observed what righteous thought acted upon produced. She observed... Man, not, it's not that he just knew a lot of stuff. Acted upon, looked at what he, she, she observed what it produced. Yep. This is why all the nations were running to King Solomon, because they observed righteousness. They saw it. Proverbs 29 and 14, the king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. Who is King Solomon? King Solomon is in Yahweh Shah, and his throne, when he returns, will be established forever. Why is that? Because he has the knowledge, the words of the, uh, of the Heavenly Father, man. Go ahead. Judge the poor, too, man. And who he come for? He came for the slots, bro. He came for the poor, he came for the meek, he came for the lowly, he came to ill. He did that. He did that, man. He didn't come, he didn't come on his own merits. He kept pressing, praising his father. And I was praying through my father's work. I came through my father's will. It's not of me, but of the one that's sick. That's right. You know, you feel me? We got you, brother. We got it, brother. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 8, verse 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? Wisdom worketh all things. You know what I'm saying? Because what is wisdom? The application of knowledge. So if you want, if you want uh, 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 money and, 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 and the ability to buy and sell, you know, in a productive manner as a as a king, rule over commodities, your service, things that nature, you need wisdom. Yeah. And you see, and the scripture says also that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. And in this world, in this world, you need wickedness. In order to thrive in this world, in order to be in this world, you have to be wicked. Okay, you get even if you try to be righteous, guess what? Here come wickedness, here comes Satan. In the form of the white man. Yeah. To what? To to deter you, throw you off, man. Yeah. Like a lot of these businesses, like uh we uh, spoke about this dude a while back, famous Amos, man. Here it is, right? This dude made a great cookie. Dude was, his aunt gave him a recipe, it was great, it sold. Okay, what he saw, dude, he took that same recipe and he threw a whole bunch of bullshit in it, man. And now, famous Amos don't even own it no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cornered them, he cornered them off so he couldn't even make a, a decent living, man. Yeah, same thing with uh, McDonald's. You know, you have this guy Ray Kroc franchise, a model that the McDonald's brothers had created during the time where the drive-in was hot, you know? You know, back with, during the time of McDonald's is when you come up in the drive through It wasn't, no, you just go get some burger real quick, fast food. This is when you, you go to the drive through <laughs> You know, the girls come on, you know, rock and roll. You spent two hours at that damn drive through man. Well, the McDonald's brothers over in San Bernardino, California, you just walked up, got the burger, rolled out. You know, and so Ray Kroc, he saw the efficiency. He saw, he's like, man, they, they rolling through this bad boy. 25 cent burger, come on. They said, he, he came to him, he's like, we need to franchise this. We need to make this a model. Da -da 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 -da. And so they were like, nah, because people corrupt the system. 
So he ended up, you know, at some time getting them to kind of go into that model. For, you know, they ended up kind of selling the model to uh, Ray Kroc. Man, you know, look at what you got today, man. Yeah. It's a all, it's a profit-driven model that feeds people poison Correct. minute by minute by minute by minute by minute, man. Just like the Brock said, I mean, just like the Donald said, it was going to be corrupt. Exactly look at right. it, because now it's not about feeding people, it's about profit. Yep. America is not about feeding you, it's about feeding off of you. It's about, it's about gaining off of, off of you. Yep. Elder mentioned resources. Guess what? The, the number one commodity that's always been in this country, human resources, human man. Human resources. Human resources, starting with these people on this sign here. Yep. We became the first commodity on this planet in the so-called white man's hand, man. Yep. Right. They they use human resource to what? To build agricultural resources. That uh, also what was spoken about in that uh that history lesson about America's empire is the uh, the industrial revolution, man. But yep. what was the what was the catalyst for the industrial revolution? Human re the human resource, which was That's slavery. That's right. Hardcore slavery, man. That's right. Okay, they, they claim it was about 270 something years here in America, but really in, in, in reality, it was well over 500 years, man. Because it kicked off in the 1400s, late 1300s, but really in the 14th century, the 15th century, which was the 1400s, through the Portugal, Spain, and they started just started getting all this human resources of Israelites, man. And that's what they're trying to go back to with the chip. They want to now they want to brand the human resource with this RFID chip, with the brother, Lord Willem. We, we, we'll get an opportunity to do a video on it. Hey, the brother, the brother Kahan, showed me two videos that was, hey, you can't even talk, you can't even deny it. Uh, yeah. It's so, it's so, it's so, it's so poignant. Mm -hmm. You cannot deny it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Hey, the RFID chip. That's right. They want to make you a human resource, man. That's right. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what they've been doing. That's what the whole industrial revolution was about. Was, and that's why uh, the school system is about teaching you how to be a human resource. They're not teach you how to build your own business and do your own thing and regulate your own uh, individual enterprise and be self-sufficient they teach you how to plug into a system you know this whole thing is it's a debt driven system and it's meant to plug you into that man that's why you gotta pay tremendous amounts of debt to get so-called education and you gotta pay tremendous amounts of debt to uh, create your own and uh, your own business you know? It's a debt-based society. That's right. In a debt-based society, you have to have debt in order to get debt. That's why, like, you, you're young, you don't have no credit, you can't even get a credit card. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. They're yeah. like, no, 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 you don't got no debt, you don't got no history of yeah. paying this debt off. You need the slave loan. Yeah, you got a slave loan. That's right. Let's get some of these scriptures. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 16. Right. When the wicked are multiplied, uh, transgression increases. There you go. Hey. But yeah, when, when was the, the wicked first multiplied, man, during the time of Alexander the Greek? Okay, right. and after his death, Woo! after his death, all those, all his, all his uh, generals set themselves up, man. That's right. And they didn't, they didn't set themselves up in righteousness, man. They set themselves up in wickedness, man. And then they named one particular one, uh, uh, Ant Antiochus Epiphanes, man. Right. They said what? After that, evils were multiplied upon the earth. That's right. And ever since, ever since. They've been ruling, and that's all you see. When, when you watch that, when you watch that documentary, it tells you nothing about when America became an imperial power. When America became an imperial power, when America became an imperial power, it uh, it uh, it, it spread wickedness, man. All over the world, man. Change, change the, change lands, change food, change everything, man. Change the minds of the people. You got it, brother. Go ahead, girl, get it. The book of First Maccabees, chapter one, verse nine. Uh, I'll read verse seven. So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died. Yep. And his servants uh, bear rule every one in his place. Yep. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. Yep. So did their sons after them. So you had Ptolemy Soter, then you had Ptolemy Philadelphus, you had uh, Antiochus, then you had Antiochus Epiphanes, then you had uh, you had a. Uh, 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 who else? Who else is ruling? Major rulers. Yeah, the solution. Yeah, the, the, the solution. Yeah. The empire, man. Which I think that was Antiochus' empire. Yeah. It was the solution the empire. Ptolemy. Yeah, the Ptolemy. Those are the those are the cheap, powerful ones, man. Yeah. So they became the prominent, the most prominent. But guess what? In their prominent, in their prominent position, 
they didn't spread understanding and knowledge. It was all wickedness, man. They spread Hellenization, uh, uh, idol worship, okay, uh, uh, adultery, pedophilia, homosexuality. Same thing they do in this time. Go ahead. I make mean, a quick point too about the Bubba the Shah. And I guarantee you through the spirit, man, Antiochus, Alexander, uh, Ptolemy, Seleucid, all these people, they're one of these, they are, they are one of these upper elite men, man. You see what I'm saying? They're one of these upper elite men. That's why they're pushing the same philosophies like uh, ancient Rome and ancient Greek, ancient Greece, I mean. All right? A heavy idol worship about the brothers going into, man. You see? That's why we know that these different kingdoms that were once ruling are being reincarnated and everything is pretty much uh, uh, amalgamated into Babylon the Great, man, where you have the, uh, the mother of all harlots, as it is as written in uh, Revelation the 18th chapter, man. I'm sorry, the 17th chapter. That's right. You know? And, and that's, a, that's a certain mindset that you see, that, like the, like the, uh, the teacher had, had, is bringing out, man, a certain mindset of, 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 of wickedness, man. I was doing research on the, on the Aryans. Now, the Aryans are the, the Indo, uh, people who spoke the Indo-European languages. And so you have these uh, these so-called uh, white people, which are Edomites, that say that's us, which is that's inaccurate. They're actually Edomites, man. You see? And if you, uh, I was listening to this, this one brother named uh, uh, Tish, uh, uh, Tishaka, Salaki, you know, black to African dude, but he was bringing out the fact that in a mindset of, uh, of the so-called white man, dominance is good, and that's how he rules the people. And a, 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 a Lord number, even if you look, go and look at the concept of uh, slavery, El Strato, the Greeks, you see, he said, uh, uh, he said that the, 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 uh, the, uh, the slaves are, are inferior, so they, uh, so they need to be uh, put into slavery. And you see that same mindset, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, passed down from generation to generation. Case in point. Social Darwinism, man. Yeah. The premises of that was, which was uh, made by Herman Spencer, the, the, uh, the uh, cousin of uh, uh, Charles Darwin. Uh, Darwin, what did he say? He said, well, well, the, the, the reason why, uh, 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 you know, there's a, basically there's a survival of, of, of the fittest. Whoever's on, whoever's on top, you know, that, that that's the most uh, dominant race. And that's why Trump and said, I'm sorry, oh, 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 oh. That's why Trump said what? They want to dominate the space. They said it's not the ruling, it's the dominating. Dominating. They're dominating. And, and, and that same mindset is killing these average Edomites. Yep. Because now they're starting to realize that my, the elite see them as cattle. Right. Right. And that's right. why you see a, 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 extra, a, a substantial amount of so-called white men kill themselves. Yep. Because they can't afford to take care of their family. Yep. Right now, dead Christians, they're probably stressed out on opium. Why is that? Because of the rulership, man. Right, right, the rulership right. is, uh, is under the rulership of, 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 of what? A, 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 a total uh, hoarder and what? Enchantments, man. Right. Allude to uh, Isaiah the 47th chapter. And for that, America is going to be destroyed. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? I wanted to grab that real quick. You know what I'm saying? And get to these scriptures, man, because that's what it's all about. If you can, give me Isaiah uh, 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 51 and 7. But we didn't grab that, but we didn't, we didn't finish that. Isaiah uh, uh, 50, uh, 51 and 7, then we jump to uh, 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 Isaiah 47, man, because we got to let these scriptures speak. That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got that, my brother? I said Isaiah, I met Jeremiah. It's like Jeremiah 51. Yeah, Jeremiah. You know, you know, I have to stand my lips right here. That's all good. That's <laughs> you know all good. what I'm saying? It's all in the spirit. You know? Go ahead, Go ahead my brother. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. That's right. It says Babylon has been a golden cup in the Most High's hand. That's right. Hey, so that's it. Well, verse six: Flee <coughs> out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in the in her iniquity. Yep. And how you fleeing is spiritually. How you fleeing is spiritually. You you cut. You stop following the ways of this place. Go ahead. For this is the time of the heavenly Father's vengeance. Yep. So this is the warning to those elect men. Okay, is the what? Is the, the let go the way of this world, let go away of Babylon, because what? That judgment is coming to us. Right. And anybody that follows our ways, our pernicious and per, our pernicious ways, you're going to be destroyed, man. That's right. right. Go ahead. He will render unto her a recompense. Yep, payback is coming. That payback that you scared about, that payback that James Brown talked about, that payback, that payback that set that payback for all the wickedness and destruction that you did to the people of Israel, okay? 
It's coming back to you, man. You thought you wasn't going to pay for it, man. Okay? White supremacy is stale. That's over. We know that the so-called white man is not supreme, uh, is supreme in any way. We know that the so-called white man's agenda is to what? To try to keep the people in this, this state, man. And like the elder, the, uh, the, elder, uh, the, deacon, brother was, the deacon was saying about you Edomites, man. Hey, man, you, you passe, man. You can't you can't deal with uh, struggle, man. You can't you can't deal with pain, man. Hey, and I want to say this: we know about simple logic and observation too. We know the prophecy, but the prophecy wakes you up to simple logic and observation. Look at the world that he's created. He has his world created uh, righteousness, or has his world created uh, a wickedness, man? Is there more death in the earth, or is there more life in the earth? Is the earth polluted, or is the earth clean? Is pe are people happy? Or are people sad in general, man? Is there more peace on earth, or is there more war in the earth? Look at the look at the world that you live in, man. People are bombing each other, fighting. People are in debt, depressed on antidepressants, man. Uh, 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 marriage, uh, uh, marriage, uh, the, the divorce rates are through the roof. Boy, what's up, Ak? Yeah, what's up, what's up, man? The uh, divorce rates are through the roof, man. There's no family. There's no community. Look at the morals. Look at the decadence, man. You don't trust your neighbor in this country. Hey, is your doors locked right now? They better be. Why? Because you live in a uh, polluted, uh, destructive world, man. And a, and a uh, so-called white man created that world because he's the ruler of it. Let's go. Let me get something out. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand uh, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's right, these nations are all sick. Why is that, man? Because they, uh, America uh, shoves down the, uh, 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 its culture in, in, in these various countries' throats, man. Case in point, man, they say they, uh, America deems itself as the, the police of the world, man. Uh, and so they go there to the Middle East and say they're going to liberate the, the women by, by letting them be hoes and, 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 and freaks and homosexuals, man. And now you got a dang old day, a, a gay parade uh, in the Middle East, man. Why is that? Because of the so-called white man. Imposing his, imposing his hegemony, that word hegemony means uh, basically a, a, a dominant culture, on other people, man. You see? And why is that? Why is he able to do that? Because of his military might. You see, that's why uh, uh, in Nahum it says, go into the, blo the bloody city. You see what I'm saying? Can we read that right quick? Nahum is the first chapter. It's like one in, if I want to say it's one in three, correct? No, it says uh, uh, it's three in one. So like you. It says, go into the bloody city. Three and one, so like it. This is the book of Nahum, chapter three, verse one. It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robberies. The prey departeth not. That's right. It says, uh, Woe to the bloody city. It is what? Go ahead, huh? It is full of lies and robberies. That's right. In this world, in America was found off of lies, man. Right. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, we just celebrated, uh, uh, so, what? Well, we. Uh, this nation, Slakia, uh, uh, just celebrated uh, uh, Thanksgiving, man. And what was the premises of Thanksgiving? Them coming over here and slaughtering our, our brothers, man. Right, right. Ninety-eight percent of Native Americans destroyed. That's right. And you gonna celebrate it? That's right. Tell us to get over it, man. But you got uh, these people over here in our in the Holy Land receiving three point eight billion dollars for the U.S., man. Go ahead, Doc. Right? Hey, dude. Uh, $7,000 a minute. Yeah. Hey, Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policies, he also shall cause crap to prosper in his hand. And that word crap is deceit. That's right. In his hand. And he shall. I'm sorry. He says his policies, man. What is, uh, what is his policies? His legislation, man. You see? That pen. And that's how he's able to uh, uh, basically it, it, it encapsulate the whole world, man. With his lies and, and, and his, uh, his, uh, 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 his uh, uh, jargon that he uses, man, to, to, to confuse people. 
You see? That word policy. That word policy, real quick. That word goes back. Uh, not goes back, but you, you hear the word police and policy as well. That's right. Like the deacon going into man, America. Uh, America prides itself as being the pretty much the police of the whole earth. You're not following the American way. What are they gonna do? They're gonna go over there. They're gonna bomb you. Or they're gonna put you in debt. Make you loan money from the IMS. And they pitch them for uh, perpetual yeah. debt, man. Being the police of the world through Esau's policies, man. That's right. Man. The pen. And the, the scriptures talk about that, man. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's only one group of people on the planet Earth that fits the prophecies, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, not, not just one uh, uh, moment in time. We're talking about consecutively throughout the uh, ages, man. You've done this with the Greeks. You see? You done this in the, in the British Empire. Now you're doing it here, man. In the, uh, the Roman Empire. Daniel 8, 25, and through his policies also, he shall cause crowds to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. That's right, so by his so-called peace, he shall, he shall destroy many. And how has he destroyed many? Well, one, he, he, destroyed, uh, he, he destroyed the people's mind, man. Hey, hey, case in point, this is uh, on a small level. Now you have obesity increasing over there in the Middle East because they're starting to eat more of the, uh, 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 the Western uh, diet, man. Causing all types of uh, problems, man. You see? He's also destructive. When it even comes to his movies and shit, how he's trying to have, how he's trying to take over this whole AI thing. Elon Musk and the shit that he was talking about. Even in the, what's the, uh, I robot and all these movies, even the robots look like, look, damn, you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? How a robot got to check? I got to stop. You know what I'm saying? The robot like shit, you just gonna mess everything up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, so, even in that new Harry Potter movie, uh, there's a scene, yeah, yeah it, it was not a Harry Potter movie, it's a, uh, it's a Wild Beast, something like that, but a Fantastic Beast movie, it's a spinoff of the Harry Potter movie, right? So there's a scene in the movie where uh, Johnny Depp is standing in the middle of the hall speaking to all these different witches, and he shows them, he shows them the future, and in the future is a great war, and then it's a, uh, and then it's a nuclear bomb goes off. So that's the third world war. That didn't happen in the second war. He said, he said, I'm not trying to kill. I don't want to kill all the witches. I don't, that's not what I'm here for. He, if they have a role, but if they, if they, if they continue to thrive. This is what's going to happen, and then he said they're going to destroy the whole world, and we're not going to have a world to live in. So we got to take over the world. So basically, that's that, and that's what Esau wants to do, man. He, 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 you know, they throw those those different subliminals in there to show you, you know, oh, oh look, we got to throw this chaos in there. We got to throw this witchcraft. Bro. Right now, witchcraft is prospering through, through all, on all levels, man. Okay, Satanism is at an all-time high. Okay, uh, uh, witchcraft is at an all-time high. Throw Netflix. The majority of the movies is all about witchcraft, man. They're showing you pentagrams. They're showing you all uh, how to get in, how to how to try, how to uh, stay in and maintain power. And it's all through his all through his witchcraft, man. Oh, let me finish this off. Go ahead. And through his policies, also he shall cause craft to prosper, and in his hand he shall magnify himself in his heart. I'm sorry, and, and magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. But he shall be broken without end. So this man is going to be so arrogant that he's going to actually try to stand up against the Howard Shaw when he returns, man. And that's when he's going to be destroyed. Hey, it's not a coincidence that you got Trump saying that they need to build a a a a, a force in what? A force in Daniel eight twenty five. Daniel eight twenty five. No, I was letting them know. Okay, copy. A uh, what? Space uh, a space force? Oh yeah. You gonna spend billions of dollars with you, uh, just to say that you, uh, you know, was the first person to put that up there? No, man. Everything that this man does is strategically put. It's intentional, man. Nothing is just coincidence. Con contrary to popular belief, man. That's what he want to make. Uh, that's the white man pushed that on people because he wants the average person to live that way so he could uh, capitalize off of it. A bag of thirst, you know, a uh, 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 you know, hungry wild way. Have it your way. Whatever you want to do, just do it. And he, he sells you that. He sells you that in order for to uh, to, uh, to to receive a product. Because you never do what you real case for. I want to smash a female, right? Well, I got a condom right here for you. Oh, oh, the, you don't have a condom? I have the Plan B pill right here. 
Man, you hungry? Hey, hey, well, I got a taco shop that's open up at, 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 at 2, 4 a.m. Yeah, the meat might be bad, but it's all good. So he, he sells you these uh, different enchantments to control the people. You should not show this. You should not show Go ahead, huh? This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, the Apocrypha, chapter 14, verse 7. And if he does good, he does it unwillingly, and at the last, he will he will declare his wickedness. That's right. That's talking about the wicked, man. Who you at? Uh, 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 12? Shrek 14. Shrek 14. Okay, I thought you said 12. That's right. So if the so-called white man uh, does uh, good, then... Yeah, he, you know, it's, it's out of a hidden agenda, man. Yeah, only a matter of time for the witness comes up. And that's, and that's like going about the, the, uh, the slot, going about uh, the police in other world, man. Like he'll go in there with a, uh, what is it called, peacekeeping mission, man. But they bring in guns. Mm. He goes in there with a peacekeeping mission, but they bring in, uh, they bring in uh, bombs. Okay, they bring in uh, airplanes. They bring in all this stuff to what? For a peacekeeping mission. But when have you ever noticed the, the so-called white man through his, through his policies, this place of America, Babylon the Great, when have you ever known him to bring peace anywhere, man? That's right. In fact, when we were in Iraq, man, most of them Iraqis said, look, man, it was, life was a whole lot better when Saddam was ruling, man. Yeah, he had secret police. Yeah, he had money and wealth. But guess what? We wasn't going through this shit, man. Right. What? When they came in there, rolling blackouts. When they came in there, people eating out of landfills. When they came in there, starvation, hunger, rape, murder, death, destruction. This is what he brings with peace, man. If I may say, I was reading an article. Uh, I was reading an article yesterday, matter of fact. And uh, uh, since since the time since the time America has gone to the Middle East in that war in Iraq on the war on so-called terrorism, it's been over. It's been over. It's been it's, like, it's been between 30 to 40 million dead so far just from America going over there, spreading their uh, imperialism and democracy. 30 to 40 million people. That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of people. That's huh? a lot of people, That's man. Insurgents. They call them insurgents. Crazy. Insurgents, man. Psalm 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's right. But war was in his heart. That's right. Hey, we're going, we're going over there to give you democracy. That's right. Hey, Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, man. Vietnam. We're just going to go over there and, 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 and just uh, uh, scope it out and see whether or not uh, these people are, are oppressing you know, the people of Vietnam. And then they lie and say that they got shot at in uh, what, the Battle of Tonkin. Tonkin. Yeah. And it was a complete lie. When America was going over there doing all types of madness, man, and they used it as premises to go over there, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then they got upset when the when the troops started uh, started marching against it, man. But here it is because they were like, man, we're over here for nothing, man. And if you was an Israelite, man, them gooks, just like they told us in Iraq, they told you, hey, man, this ain't your war, man. We, we don't hate you, man. We don't have no problem against you, man. It's it's with Bush. It's with it's with these policies, man. If this is who the problem is for, not us. But who, who, but who uh, they set up to fight? Us, man. Talking. They sacrificed our lives for wickedness, man. That's right. Because that's all these wars, these conflicts are, are nothing more than sacrifices for the, for the super elite, man. And then they what? Every so often they'll have a memorial screwed, bringing up the same dead. Yeah, oh, man, you know, the, uh, laying here, laying on, laying on the reef. If it's, if it's, uh, it's still moving up. Hey, hey, but the people that are alive, you're not taking care of them, man. Hey, hey, the, 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 the veterans and things of that nature. You got veterans that are, that are bugged out still this day because of yeah. Vietnam, man. Yeah. Suffering poor. all types of ailments. Poor, strung out. Agent Orange. They, they still trying to pay niggas for Agent Orange. They still doing that. We, hey, that's, that's a part that's still getting paid because of that, man. There you go. Hey, hey, people back messed up because of uh, because of uh, working, toiling, taking care of tanks and things of that nature, man. Maintenance on, on, on various uh, 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 warcrafts, man. Not being taken care of. Then you got somebody that went over there and, and, and uh, they did three or four tours. They come back here to the U.S. and they got to work at McDonald's. That's right. And the Lord said, he's something not a man of water. Uh, I mean, he said, he's he wicked, man. Got it. Uh, he, uh, a man of water is something poverty, man. Okay? Here it is. Like, hey, me and the brother was talking about that, man. Hey, you something, you, man, that's a spirit. Because here it is. You, you go to this war, you do these tours, a year tour. You out of, you out of the loop. And what happens when you come home, man? You get nothing, okay? And you try to go through the VA system, they tell you they ain't sick. And then John, uh, John McCain, before he died, he said, man, there's gonna be more PTSD. Look, you just gotta deal with it. There's gonna be more PTSD, there's gonna be more wars. They don't even care about it, man. They call it the invisible, the invisible injury. But guess what, man, PTSD is real, man. You got people that you can't sleep, you can't function in 
ordinary society. Okay, you got to take pills. Okay, you got to pump yourself. You got to go see a therapist, another a witch, to do what? To try to calm yourself, to get you to get back into the a realm of being normal. Because when we came back from Iraq, it wasn't, in the, especially the first tour, there wasn't nothing for us, man. Okay? There wasn't no, no psychiatrists or nothing. Oh, you just have a battle fatigue, man. But here it is, you waking up here, a train rolling by your, your house, you waking up, jumping on the floor, talking about they shoot, they shoot. Yeah. Real shit happening, man. Well, you know, I ain't got this one story of this guy, you know, he was chilling in bed with his wife, and, uh, uh, he, you know, some, somebody's at the door, he grabs his pistol, you know, he just got back from Iraq, and, you know, he runs down the stairs with the pistol, going throughout the house, you know, didn't see nothing, didn't see nothing. You know, the wife turns out the, uh, or he turns out the light to get ready to go back. Well, the wife is going to go check on the baby. So she uh, opens the door to go check on the baby. He, he basically, boom, grabs her about, to, you know, ready basically to kill her because his mind is, he's got that post-traumatic, uh, you know, stress, man. And so you got a lot of these, uh, uh, you got a lot of these soldiers coming back from these wars and their heads is messed up, man. You see, civilians in America don't understand what's going on overseas, over in Syria, or over there. They don't understand because of the proxy wars, because of the lies, because of basically the hegemon of America and wanting to control oil transports, wanting to control how currency is controlled in the world, what it's doing to people all across the world, man. Now, when you look at Iraq, the Iraqi, the Iraqi currency is called the dinar, or here. the dinar. The dinar was three dollars was worth one dinar. Yep. When they went over there and they took down Saddam Hussein, yep. and people don't even know why they took down Saddam Hussein. You know, they took him down because they wanted to control those markets. Well, now it takes a thousand dinar for one dollar. They totally, they totally destabilized that whole nation, man. Yeah, okay, they'll have you thinking. They'll have you thinking that oh, it's all about peace and it's all about. It's all about it's all about taking out an evil dictator. But that's, that wasn't what it was about. You, you look at that somebody that was there in 03 during the initial invasion. I crossed the border. I seen it. I seen how one minute these people are dancing in a disco. Next minute these niggas, they jumping, they moving around. Because of what? Because of bombs being thrown on them. That shock and awe campaign. You can hear it in Kuwait. That's how real it was. But did it tell you, oh, it's all about bringing peace. Man, they ain't bring no peace to them people, man. Right, the first right. time I ever seen a whole family eating out of a landfill was in the middle of Iraq, man. Woo. Okay, the first time I ever seen people trying to escape out of a out of a conflict and they couldn't because they got hit or shell, and all you see is burnt corpses in a car. He's still holding the steering wheel. Family's still in the back seat. See, you Americans, you don't know death. You don't know trouble, but you're about to. That's right. Everything that happened in Iraq, that's going to be child's play compared to what's going to happen in all these major cities, man. And it's all setting up. It's all setting up right now, man. You think that these trade wars that are happening with China and all the other conglomerate nations that's with China is by accident. There's an economic shift that's happening. And these, hey, hey, when you read about these prophecies in the Bible, what do you think was happening in Babylon? What do you think was happening in Greece and in Rome? It was economic shifts that was causing these wars. The same thing that you see happening today, man. There's an economic shift from the west to the east, and Trump is jumping up and down, and people think it's about, uh, 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 yeah, he hates this, and Trump is trying to say, do you want Starbucks in the morning? That's, that's the truth. Do you want to go to McDonald's in the morning? Hmm. Well, you need to listen to me. That's right. Trump understands geopolitical economic business something big and tragic has been prepared what we're telling you is that the bible has been telling you about this a long long time ago That's right. that there was a babylon the great not the ancient babylon when you read in the book of, of revelation babylon the ancient babylon was already destroyed so what are they talking about in the book of revelation when it talks about babylon the great what does that mean that all these nations, it was a melting pot, all these nations came to this nation, and that this nation corrupted everybody. Hello? What do you think America's doing? Can somebody grab the elder Isaiah 47? Right, Bob Yeah, start at one. Start at one because this, this, that's what it's all about right there. 
see everybody see you, people think this Christmas tree this goes back that, do, do y'all know that the Christmas tree is a Babylonian custom did you know did you know it's, written it's the in Bible? the Bible the Christmas tree is in the Bible and it's not regarded as something to be loved it's condemned in the book of Jeremiah, the 14th chapter. It is Jeremiah yeah. 10 and 1. Oh, 10. 10. I'm sorry. Not Jeremiah. Jeremiah Read it real quick. Jeremiah. The Christmas tree is in the Bible. Jeremiah 10. And we're not bringing it up because we, we're so, we hate. We, we're just telling you the truth. Wait. Go ahead. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the sides of heaven. The Babylonians at that time were considered right. heathen. That's right. It says, so, so don't be dismayed. Don't look at it like, oh, we're so cute. The lights, it's just cute. Go ahead. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Go ahead. If I can say this here, uh, very quickly, and just for edification, the Israelites are you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hey, that's why Trump is, is doing all those things to your people, man. That's why. Because it's prophesied in the scriptures, man. Yeah. Right. Now he putting your children in dog cages, man. That's right. And you got people applauding that on, on media, on social media, man. That's right. Yeah. That's nothing to play with, man. Yeah. And they're doing it for, for political propaganda. It's, all it's this. propaganda. But read it. For the customs of the people are vain. This is, for, a, this is a vain custom. Go ahead. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. Somebody cuts a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of a hand of the workmen with an axe. Uh -huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver and with gold. Go ahead. Fast it with nail and with hammers that it move not. They, they make it to where it don't go nowhere. Go ahead. They are upright as the palm tree, but they speak not. They needs must be born. They needs must be born, meaning you need to put life into it. You know who worships this tree more than anybody? You Negro. Yep. You Latino. Yep. That's why they walk the street. It says, uh, yeah. it says they cannot go, but uh, be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Yeah, and you so-called Negroes, you silly, man. And you wonder why you, you're regarded so low all across the world. Because you got a low mentality. And also, when you look up that word born, it means they gotta be, they gotta be uh, lifted up. Yeah, it's gotta, it gotta be, be held up. up. It's gotta be held up, man. It gotta be held up because they're dead. So when you walk around here and you see this, guess what? You're worshiping, at one point you used to be scared of this. You gotta make it be something. Yeah. You gotta cut it, put it somewhere, and make it be something, man. It's a hyperbolization. It must needs be born. Basically, Jeremiah was clowning. Yeah. If you understand the scripture. And that's why they put lights on it, man, to make it look lively, man. Like it's living, man. Hey, but this thing is dead, man. You filming this? Who you gonna show it to? You gonna show it to your pastor? You don't go to church? Okay. That's good. That's okay. First step. You believe in the Bible? <laughs> you read the Bible though. Okay. When we read we read this out of the Bible, man. When you go back, review this, man. Don't just, just film it for a world star moment. Take your, no, I'm just saying it. I'm saying it as a hot purpose. I, I you know? don't even have uh, Facebook. That's fine. No, but don't just, this, 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 this ain't just for. Like that's good. That's good. That's good. It, 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 I, I, you know, there's no need for explanation. I'm, I'm making a point. The, 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 the point is, take it seriously, man. They cannot if you, if you, go. If you say you uh, believe in the Bible, take it seriously. We're reading a passage right now that's describing. A, 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 a world phenomenon, yeah, and the Christmas, Christmas the Christmas tree is a world phenomenon, man. Everywhere. But it's if you read the Bible to not do it, take your life seriously, man. Don't do it. Don't just be like, ah, you, you know, I don't believe in that. I just like the Christmas tree. I'm not, and I'm not saying you're doing that, sister. I'm, I'm making a point. Okay. The hit dog a holler. If you don't worship the Christmas tree and stuff like that, you ain't got a Christmas tree in your house. I ain't talking about you. It says, you know? they, can, they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. They don't got no power. Go ahead. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Yahweh, but to me I was shy, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? 
for to thee, for, for to thee doeth it appertain, for as much as among all the wise men of the nations and all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. Got it out. Yeah, and that's, there's, no, there's no power like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one you call God. Yahweh Shai is the one you call Jesus. Ignorant. No one ever called Yahweh Shai Jesus when he walked this earth. No one ever called the Most High God in the ancient world. Even the word God just means power, man. He said, by one name he's known, which is Yahweh. He said, there is no, there's only one name under heaven whereby men must be saved. The men of Israel are going to be saved is by what? Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So now we know that all these, we now that we know that the, the living power is the only one that lives. All these other idols are what? But just by by a, a case of deduction, they're false. They're vain. Right. Right. A lie don't exist. Muhammad right. was a fraud. Jesus don't exist. That ain't the name of the Lord. That's the name of this. That's the name of some rappers, Krispies, man, or Krispies. I like to call them Krispies because guess what? He's about to be burnt up. That's right. That's right. He's about to be burnt up with the rest of these idols, man. Holly Selassie, he even told you out his own mouth, I am not the son of God. He said, that is not me. When he went to Jamaica and all them Jakes are jumping up and down on a plane, oh man, Holly Selassie died. He said, no, stop that, man. And he's not even an Israelite. Secondly, all these audios that you worship, all you're doing, you're doing it for nothing. Oh, oh, oh like the one chick said, oh, well, Jesus brought my son back to life. No, he didn't. The most side, the most side <laughs> kept that nigga alive, man, for better or worse destruction, man. That's right. Or salvation. If he turns around and repent. But nine times out of ten, the majority of you that worship these idols, that worship Christmas, that yeah. worship these foolish things, guess what? You're gonna be destroyed. Yeah, you're gonna be consumed. Of, you just full of Hennessy and black and mild. That's man. it, man. That's all right. You know, you look at these people, man, you see how dusty they are mentally, man. That's right. Man. You gotta keep your composure from just absolutely Ripping into him, man. Go ahead, go ahead, get the scripture. Oh, what is that? No, read it anyway. No, read it anyway. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come on over here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 1. God. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O daughter, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's America. Why is America a virgin daughter of Babylon? Because nobody has ever invaded this place, man. You went to all these different nations and they done nothing to you. They done nothing for you or against you, man. All you did was go there, you, int you, you intervened in all their affairs, but they never intervened in your affairs. Well, they guess what? The, they, they created. They created the affair. That's right. To go in. You know That's what right. I'm saying? That's why it says, come down, O daughter, virgin daughter of Babylon, sit in the dust. That dust is confusion. Go ahead. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. There's no throne for you, man. There's no America the Great. You lived your life, man. You know when your episode, you know when your apex year was or decade was the 1950s, man. That was it. When you when when it really paid to be white, so-called white, man. It paid to be an Edomite. Now that's gone. Those days are gone. Okay. After after Vietnam, after you try to put your your uh you put your satellites and your orbit machine uh, space stations out there in the atmosphere. Not, not deep space, but out, just out in the outer atmosphere, man. You put it up there, it actually it's the lower atmosphere because you can't get past the Van Allen belt. That's right. Once you did that, hey, that was your death note, man. Go ahead. So sit on the ground, there is no throne. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. Ground is a low place, go ahead. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans because the same thing that the ancient Chaldeans did, you're doing today, man. With the high, high levels of witchcraft, go ahead. What thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. Like I always say, America is about to get her cherry pop yeah. in the worst way, gang rape by all these different nations, man. Russia, China, Iran, Pakistan, India, uh, China, uh, uh, Japan, Germany, England. All of, the, all of them about to bust you. And how they gonna do it? They are gonna invade this place, man. Right. They are right. gonna invade America. That's right. right. Why, why, and then guess when they gonna catch America sleeping? Cause guess what? You gonna have all hell breaking loose Race riots, famine riots, class riots. You're going to be fighting each other, so busy fighting each other, you ain't going to see that big-ass damn uh, tank coming off. You ain't going to see those those big-ass ships on the horizon, man. Right. Ready to bust you open, man. Yeah, right. And right. then then you're going to try to bring your NATO troops in. Too late. Too late. To a dollar, too late and a dollar short, man. What, you, what America's about to be is the biggest gaping vagina on the planet Earth. Go ahead, keep reading. Verse 2. Just take the millstone and... Grind meals. Hey, great millstone. Hey, right now we're taking we're taking 
through the spirit power, your house by with shine, the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Guess what? We're, we're grinding you with this word, man. We're grinding you up. You know how Jake like to joke on each other? Oh, he's grinding the fuck up, man. Mm. Guess what? Your house by with shine is grinding you up, man. Go ahead, keep reading. Uncover thy locks. Uh, every, all your hidden things, uncover your hair, which is your glory. Uncover your locks, your locks of lies. Uncover it. Go ahead. Make bare the legs. Make bare the legs. Show her nakedness, man. Show, her, show how America is a lion hypocrite, man. Show how America has, has did nothing but destroy all these different nations, man. Show how America has destroyed the children of Israel and continue to do it even to this very day. That's right. Show it. That's right. Don't hide it. And you don't like to see it, man. You eat a mite, you think life is all good. You walking down the street, you hugging your, your loved one, and everything's just nice, man. Riding on bicycles in the middle of the street, no cars are hitting you. But guess what's gonna happen to you, man? That's gonna be turned upside down. That's right. You're gonna be begging to get the hell up out of here. That's right. You got, That's right. These, you got Jake begging to get up in here trying to hop the gate. It's gonna come a time where you average, everyday American citizens, you're gonna try to hop the gate to get out, man. But you ain't gonna be able to escape because now the judgment is happening. Go ahead. It says, uncover the thigh, pass uncover that over thigh. the rivers. Pass over the rivers. Go ahead. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy Love nakedness you. shall be uncovered, man. Night. Yeah, Love thy you. shame shall be seen. Your shame is being seen. Hey, all you gotta do is go on YouTube, man. You, they want showing to you in the major, mainstream media? Go on YouTube, man. See how, see how, see how America destroyed the children of Israel, how they stole America. Okay, hey, somebody get Nahum 3 and 1. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nahum chapter 3, verse 1. The spirit, go ahead. Woe to the bloody city. America's that bloody city. Go ahead. It is full of lies and robbery. Everything you learn in America about history, about the founder fathers, about the great people of this place, guess what? All of those are lies, man. All of those are lies, okay? Uh, uh, what's his name? George uh, Washington didn't chop down no fucking apple tree, okay? Uh, 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 Lincoln didn't grow up in no damn log cabin, okay? All of them were part of the super elite, lesser luminaries, to set up what you call America in 1776, May 1st, May Day. May this, Day. Hey, this, this, world, this land became what? The chief house of you banking families, man. You elitists, man. You so-called super masons, man. Go ahead. Keep reading. The prey departed not. Who the prey? The Israelites, man. We ain't left this place, man. Right. And the first thing you, you, you Edomites will say, you so-called white people, oh, go back to Africa. You don't like it here. Go back to Africa. Go back to your country. Go back to Mexico. Man, you Wait a minute. Jacked up Africa, man. You jacked up every place, you man. Jacked up everything, man. Look at you, man. You shitting on. You shitting on Africa, man. That's why niggas ain't going back to Africa. Even when you giving out free passports and and and, 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 and uh, uh, the year of return. Guess what? The niggas are returning right back to them projects, man. <laughs> niggas are returning right back to them. Got the same shit they've been doing the year before. Why? Because nobody wants to live in Africa. Ain't shit in Africa, man. And, and, you got, and, and then you got, and you dudes are proud about it. You, you Jake that's living in Africa, you proud about it. Oh, you cannot come back here. You are not African. We ain't no African. Man, we're Israelites, man. Right. We dwelt in Africa as refugees. We dwelt, right. in, we dwelt in America as refugees, man. That's right. Okay? The reason why the, the, the dad, Native Americans came here to, to America, hold that sign up, came here to America, yeah. why? It's because they were escaping uh, captivity by the Assyrians, man. And then they stayed over here for a certain amount of time. And then guess who cre who crept over here? Dirty ass E, man. E dog, man. Came over here and destroyed them, man. Yeah, man. You follow us wherever we go. Man. Everywhere That's we go, right. man. Cause you wanna be like this. You 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 the biggest hater, man. You the biggest hater, man. Yeah, man. Put out people in fucking slavery. Okay, cut our fucking hands off because we're just getting fucking cold. Well, guess what, man? Your time is coming, man. Right. right. And the Lord, He always, the Lord is so merciful, man. Because he ain't got to tell you shit, man. But he do it. Because he's righteous, man. Right. He tell you what's going to happen before it's happened. So when it happened, you can't say, nobody told me. That's right. Nobody said, no, nobody said, hey, get right. Nobody said this place is going to be destroyed. Hey, what's that nigga, uh, uh, the singing nigga? What's the nigga? Maxwell, man. Oh, yeah. What'd he say? Hey, we never saw it coming. Yeah. Yes, you did, man. Yeah. You looking at it right now. That's right. That's right. That ass whooping is coming. Your own, your own tongue, your own tongue uh, speaks against you, man. Even during the time when you first came over here, okay. you had the, uh, you had some of the people within the clergy, amongst the French, amongst the Italians, saying, "Man, what we're doing is wrong." During the time of slavery, you had some so-called white people saying, "We shouldn't be doing this," and you still.
still did it anyway, man. So, so you, you, you heap coals on yourself. The most high is bad, man. You condemn yourself with your own tongue. So now how much more is it when the uh, children of God speak against you? Okay? And you know, somebody can't eat. Get uh, second edge of the 15th chapter. You still got that name? Let's go check. Uh, you read this first? Yeah, we'll read this. Okay, let him finish there. Go back to it. Verse 2 The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. Uh -huh. And there was a multitude of slain and a and there's great a multitude of slain, man. You know when the when the hey, when, hey, whenever they sent in the cavalry, whenever they sent in the horses and the chariot, basically that was a, that was the end of battle, man. You see, you sent in the cavalry men to go ahead and finish things up. You know, you had your foot soldiers, you got to bro. You had the foot soldiers roll in. First, you hit them with the archers. You hit them with the air. Yep. That's air. Right. Yep. Then you sent in the then, then you you sent in the, the, the heavy infantry and the men. Yep. Then you send in the cavalry, man, the people that's on the chariots, man. Yep. They're gonna run through everybody, man. That's yep. what the most high's gonna do in this place. That's right, because see, you thought we didn't have an army, man. You thought for a long time we didn't. Why? Right. Because we had to go through, we had to serve our judgment for our iniquities, man. That's right. But guess what? We got the biggest, the most spiritual army on, on that ever existed. The army of Yahweh was shot. That's right. Okay? You got the you got the ground troops, okay? First and foremost, whenever you you guys gotta know something. Whenever they have a war, right? You got you got something called a uh, you got something called a uh, a, 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 a slicker group, a slicker team, right? These are the people that go out and declare that wars that wars in your area, okay? Or that the, the military is about to take over these places. And what they go what they go do? They go look at the areas that that's set forth for them. The different unit, the different unit heads. They go to, they go to these different places and they say, okay. Hey, uh, Alpha, Alpha, uh, Alpha Company, y'all gonna be over here. Uh, Bravo, y'all gonna be over here. Charlie, y'all gonna be over there, right? So these leaders, they go back, they go, they set up, they the first ones out there, right? So then they send in the ground troops. Guess who the ground troops are? We're the ground troops, man. We're in the midst. And chiefly, starting off with the apostles and the elders, guess what? Those are the, those are the generals, those are the leaders That's of the right. army. That's okay, right. they, they, they surveyed the land. They said, hey, all these different cities, all these different countries, where our people are dwelling at, hey, this is going to be destroyed, that's going to be destroyed, this is going to be destroyed. But who's going to do it? How about Shemiah was shot? Right. You got the ground troops. And then you got your Navy, Leviathan. Okay? You got your Navy. You got your Air Force, which are the, which are the angels. Okay? Okay? And then can't forget, about, can't forget about that missile defense force, which is called nuclear missiles, man. Which those, that's the army of the Lord, man. The Lord has opened up his armory. Okay? And he's going to unleash it on America, man. And so when all these nuclear bombs come on, you can't blame that on Tay Tay. When all when all hell breaks loose, you can't blame that on Jerome, man. Because we ain't got those assets, man. So when it happens, you're gonna be like, why, why, why? What's going on? Hey, judgment is going on, man. Yeah, the snare, man. You got need the snare for yourself. Uh, uh, back in verse three, the horseman lifted up uh, both the bright sword and the glittery spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. Uh, it is here. Uh, three and three. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. No, that's the, that's the nuclear missiles. Go ahead. And there is a multitude of slain. Yep. And a great number of carcasses. Right, because when these nuclear bombs go off, man, over 200 million warheads are going to go off, man. Right. It's going to finish this place off, man. Okay? It's going to be the greatest destruction ever, man. It's going to be many slain, man. Not in just in America, but even other places abroad. Israel, the, 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 uh, the state of Israel, you're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to have all them troops fighting down there in Saudi Arabia. You're going to be destroyed. They stumble upon their corpses. And they're going to be stumbling. Hey, even before that, when all when these different pandemics explode upon you, upon these different cities, and hey, there's going to be so many dead people, man, you're going to be, hey, humans can get over dead bodies real quick, man. When it's when it's when it's life or death on them, and yeah, they'll just fuck that. I, I, I want to make this point. You know, right now you got these caravans that have come up from Central America. They all up in Tijuana, all along the uh, the border of America. So you got all these thousands of people along these coasts. There ain't no place for them to uh, piss and shit. And so what's happening in these areas is that diseases proliferate. 
and it, 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 it proliferated in less than a week. What do you think is inside of urine? What do you think is inside of feces? Yep. <laughs> Bacteria. That's right. Disease, man. That's right. So that's what's happening to those people. What, what, hey, when the truck stopped moving, when, uh, when, when, when uh, the, the plumbing, I mean, not plumbing, when, when the, uh, the plumbing system yeah. is not working, all these people are yeah, all uh, running and up. ransacking. Yeah, it, it don't take much, man. All you gotta do is turn the water off, man. And you see how people, they'll, they'll keep shit in, in a bowl that don't flush, man. Yeah. And guess what you breed? You bring it in disease. That's right. You bring it in uh, pestilence, man. That's right. Man. Flies come with shit. Maggots come with shit. Yep. Worms come with shit. Uh -huh. Okay? And all that come with death, too. When there's nobody to bury these bodies, man, disease gonna proliferate all across America, man. Okay? And they show this to you in your different movies, but you don't believe it. But guess what? You living in the greatest movie that's ever been made. Uh huh. And that movie is, is this life that you're living in, man. And it's gonna be a horror movie. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a space movie. Okay? It's gonna be a comedy. Cause guess what? The men of the Lord gonna laugh at your ass, man. That's right. right. Hey, just like we laughing at Takashi Six Nine, man. Yeah. Hey, I keep bringing this nigga up because we met the nigga, man, and the nigga was hard headed, man. And now you catching this hell. You done. Well, how much more for you two thirds that nobody even knows about? Nobody cares about you. Your names ain't famous. Okay? We're gonna laugh at you through, through the spirit power y'all by smell and shine. The angels gonna laugh, man. Okay? When your calamity come as a sudden destruction, man. That's right. Wait, man. They all be laughing. Well, what you got with that? That's it. Hold that. Go get go to uh, second edition. Uh, you done with that? Uh, just a couple more questions. Go ahead. Verse four. four. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot. Yeah, the multitude of the whoredoms, man. All, all the different things. Your, 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 your gay and lesbian agenda. Okay, your transsexual agenda. Your democracy. Your, your, your women's liber, lib, uh, your women's lib, your women's uh, feminist movement. Sloppy. Your feminist movement. Okay. All of these things that you, you carry in this golden cup of wickedness, man. And then you got your, you got your military might through the, well, the B system. Through the EU and uh, NATO, okay, and they 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 serve as that military might to spread your agendas, man. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that the mistress of witchcrafts that sell nations through a whoredom. Right, that, and the, the mistress of witchcraft is America. What nations have you sold through your whoredom, man? First and foremost, the nation of Israel, man. Okay, and all these other nations, you do it too. Go ahead. And families. Through her uh, witchcraft. And families doing witchcraft, man. You get these people so ingrained with witchcraft, they think this shit is good, man. They think it's righteous, man. You got people out here that can't live without Christmas, man. Okay? You people, you people so ingrained with Christmas that you take it to the desert. You take Christmas to Korea. You take Christmas anywhere you go to the Antarctic, man. You got somebody with a goddamn little tree on their desk talking about some fa la 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 la, man. Go ahead. This is the heaviest time for uh, suicide and stuff. Yeah, man, because people can't, people can't, people feel like they can't get enough, they don't have enough, they're not worth enough. House fires. House fire? Oh, yeah, man, it was a big ass house fire on Thanksgiving, man. Somebody uh, uh in Philadelphia, man. My cousin showed it on her little Instagram thing, man, talking about some, hey, she's a Muslim, talking about may Allah bless these people. Where the fuck is Allah at, man? When you niggas get shot down in the street, you, 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 you niggas are getting blown to spend the rings and back. You people in uh, all these different Muslim countries, Arab countries, getting blown and shit and back, and Allah never shows up, man. Uh, Muhammad, where is this nigga in the Pegasus, man? Been waiting for this nigga to fly in, he never shows up. And then you try to say, oh, well, what about you? Hey, our God is real, man. The mere fact that you see us out here doing this, that means your house by Shai is real, man. That's right. We all on the same timeline. Brothers ain't know each other prior to this, okay? We one body. We, one we, body. Some, we see something every day. Every day. That's why y'all keep seeing us pushing so hard, man. That's right, man. We right. standing upon our watch, like it tell you, and uh, uh, have a couple, second chapter, man. Right. And we are telling you these things, man. The prophecies coming to pass, man. You can't say the prophecies ain't popping, man. You can't, man. See, every day we see something, man. Every day. Wars and rumors of wars. That's what yep. I'm saying. These articles that you see, yep. the, 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 the increase on the production of this microchip. Yep. I would say you went from just seeing people having it in their dogs to just seeing people in the tattoo shop getting it to yep. now you're seeing people getting it at their job. Yep. Now you're seeing uh, thousands of people getting it all at once. Yep. You see? You, hey. got whole, you got whole societies that's basing their whole livelihood on this RFID microchip system. Huh. You see? So, just like the scripture said it would. You got so, it. So what, so what prophecy has these other, these other these idols giving you people? Nothing, man. They promise you, oh, when you die, you get seven 
virgin boys in, in heaven, you pop them in. You, 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 when you die, you turn into a butterfly, come back as a butterfly. They're just selling you vanity, man. Yeah, leaving out a plate of cookies. Leaving man. out a plate of cookies. I like, I'm like a motherfucker in the spirit world. Like, man, I can't wait to get that damn ham hop, man. I've been waiting all week, all year for that. Now there's a dead, there's more deaths. Deals, there's more deaths. I'm going to get some. No, man. All of that's vanity, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you selling these families into their hoarder, with your hoarders. You selling these nations, these families with your witchcraft. All of that's going to be done away with, man. That's right. What did the Lord do to these other nations that was doing that in the ancient world, man? Destroyed them, man. Destroyed them. Egypt didn't get its prominence back after we left. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemiah was shot. Babylon... Babylon and, uh, didn't get its, uh, the neo the Neo-Babylonian Empire didn't gain its, uh, its, uh, its preeminence after it was destroyed, okay? Right. That's right. Uh, the Roman, the, uh, the, uh, the Persian and the Mede, hey, they went out like suckers, man. Huh? Okay, in the Roman Empire, man, hey, you just got destroyed and Jake took you over, man. And then they call it the so-called Holy Roman Empire, which they was going off too, but guess what? Guess what, man? You're going to be destroyed, man. Right. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, your judgment is that you're going to be destroyed. Yahweh Shinawah Shai is not with you. God is not blessing America. The Most High, Yahweh Shinawah Shai, is going to damn America. He's right. already right. did it through his word. He said, What? My word, so shall my word go out. It shall not return to me void, man. But shall accomplish that which I, which I mean for it. What right. you paraphrasing, man? So at the end of the day, nothing that you say, nothing that you do is going to turn back the hands of time, man. America can never and will never be great again, man. Right. America was great when it had us in chattel slavery and we were blind, deaf, and dumb to who we were, man. Now the cat's out the bag. You can't put it back. You might take us off the corner, but guess what? The word's out. And your high you know, shot is about to set forth this judgment. That's right. right. You done with that? Well, go ahead, brother. Verse 5. Behold, I am against thee, saith your high washing me of hosts. The yes? And I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. Yep. And I will show the nations thy nakedness. And he's showing the nations your nakedness. You got some uh, quick precept. This is uh, Job chapter five, uh, chapter 14, verse uh, 5. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You had your time, man. You had your moment in the sun, man. Why are you trying to, why are you trying to bring it back, man? Hey, that's like this, this video I saw a long time ago. The uh, people got their water cut off. These motherfuckers going to the, the swimming pool, grabbing water out, trying to bring back the water and make it clean again, man. With all this chlorine and all these chemicals in it, they were drinking it, man. That's like America, man. You got all this wickedness, all this evil, and you, and you trying to clean it up, and you trying to bring it back again. You ain't gonna bring it back again. Scripture says, uh, 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 afflicted shall not rise. What do you imagine against the Most High? Afflicted shall not rise a second time, man. So that affliction is not going to rise a second time. You're going to be destroyed, and that's it, man. Right. That's it. And guess who's ruling next? These people right here. That's the right. Israelites, right. starting off with the elect. Starting off with the elect men of Israel, man. Okay, because the kingdom that's coming is going to be a male-dominated society in righteousness, man. Go ahead, brother. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all that all the waves thereof. And I behold, and lo, that that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. That's your man. Right. The one you originally called Jesus, man. Okay, the one you think that's coming back for peace. Hey, like, hey, we had a uh, we had an Edomite. Come on, hey, anybody got? Y'all got a chesney? Yes. Laying right here. Let me get that picture. We showed the Edomite this picture, right? And he was like, nah, man, this is a way cooler Jesus than this one, man. Why? Because this is the true, man. This is the true image. This may not be him, but this is what he looked like. This is a description, man. And this is a false description, man. Go ahead and read, brother. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Right, so when you see this man, Yahawashai, standing on top of a chair, you, you people are going to tremble right. when, you, right. when, you sit, when you're under his foot, man. You people are going to fall. Your heart's going to turn to stone. 2,000 new jakes, man, that believe in this image, you're going to die. That's right. You're going, you're going to die. Oh, my God. Jesus ass negro. And he's going to drop them, hit the floor, man. That's oh, my right. God. Jesus ain't black. Jesus ain't white. I know my Christ. And you're going, you're going to have a fucking aneurysm. And your head's going to explode, man. <laughs> hey, 
the scripture says in uh, uh, the book of Luke, the 21st chapter, it says that uh, men's hearts fell in them for fear. That's they, right, man. They're going to have heart attacks. People going to sit in the chariots and just drop dead, man. Just drop dead. Yeah. Hey, like that one dude, aliens, aliens. <laughs> Somebody call a cop. The cops can't do nothing. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. They multiply it. It's one. It's two. It's three. Oh, shit. 144,000. Ah! And you finished, man. Yeah, I'm gonna say one more thing, and you go, and you gonna know what I'm talking about. That one old man in Hawaii, man, when that, when the yeah. missiles, he when died. that, when that fake yeah. take place, he looked at his phone and just died. Man. He dropped dead, man. It was in the newspapers, man, for like three days, now man. They're trying to sue Hawaii. Man. Yeah, they're trying to sue, man. I was saying that's that's where it go into um, knowledge and wisdom will be the stability in that time. That's what I'm saying. Cause when that when that shit happened, the brother went live. Yeah, man. When that's I was saying, but when it happened, that's the other right. people had a heart attack. Hey, brother, tell y'all about some y'all shot, man. Hey, man. Hey, that's right, man. That's right, man. Hey, 60, over 60,000 people have watched that video, man. That's right. Okay? Can't walk, I walk, some places I walk in Hawaii, man. Hey, I, I remember you, man. I saw you on YouTube, man. And, hey, is anything else bad going to happen? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Or like the lady from the tour room. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Watch. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, finish, man. Finish, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also was pierced. Right, and those clouds are not no white puffy clouds that you see in the air, man, made from H2O, man. Yeah. Those clouds are talking about chariots, man. Right. And every eye is going to see them, and even those that pierced them. Reincarnation, man. And you got them Edomites still running around here, man. Talking about they proud to be an American. And when you see your house, you're like, oh shit, that was him we stabbed. And it's over for you, man. It's going to be made, it's going to be made into their remembrance, man. They're going to know exactly who they are, and they're going to yep. know exactly what they did. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And, and, and it's going to be, they're going to be, well, they're already going to do. Yeah, they finished, you know man. what I'm saying? But they're going to know. But that guy that finished y'all was trying to run with he's going to know what that does. Well, and, and the one that gave him, gave him the order to do it. Yep. You sat there like it was all good, man. Hey, man, see, that's the other thing. You, you, you eat them like, you like to forget, man. You like to forget, oh, selective, selective forgetting, man. Because when we, when, if we do something against you, you remember that shit, man. But when you do something to us or anybody else, you forget. You forget, that's why you go into these different places and you think it's all good. Like that Edomite that got shot by them jazz fights, man. Right. Got shot the fuck up with some, uh, uh, with arrows. some, with some arrows, man. You thought it was all good. Hey, like Roy Jones, y'all must have forgot. Hey, they remember. They remember what Captain Cook did to them damn uh, rest of their family members, man, over there, man. They remember what those whalers was doing to their women, man. And they was like, fuck that, you ain't coming over here. And hey, yo, you try to bring them Jesus, and hey, they sent it to the most high, man. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, man. They sent you back, man. And where was Jesus at? Why Jesus ain't come? Hey, where FEMA at? No, where Jesus at? Nowhere to be found, man. Jesus. Where Fees is at, man? Where he at? <laughs> hey, Chessy with the bezzy, man. <laughs> Chessy with the bezzy. Where's he at, man? Hey, I saw some bullshit on TV today, man. You got that statue in uh, uh, Rio, that, that Hazel Crystal statue. Yeah. They got this nigga dead. They got this nigga doing this, man. Oh, yeah. Really, nigga? <laughs> Hey, you niggas are dead, man. Yes, uh, hey, hey, you niggas are dead, man. Hey, you think when your Howard Shine come back, you gonna be playing with him like that, nigga? Hey, man, so you can make fun of Trump, uh, Obama, Clinton, Bush. Hey, but you can't make no fun of your Howard Shine, man. Hey, cause guess what? He's gonna have the last laugh, man. Right. 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 No, man. Go ahead and try it if you want to, nigga. You gonna drop dead, man. Go ahead and try it if you want to, man. You see how? And that's to show you the hypocrisy of this place. You people talk about, oh, this is a God-fearing country. I believe in Christ. I believe in this. But then every every other cartoon, every other uh, sitcom, you you making fun of this motherfucker, man. He's up in heaven on the phone. He up he committing adultery with uh, uh 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 Peter Griffin's wife. You know what I'm saying? Just going off, man. Hey, but when your Howard Shine comes back, you're gonna know that it's not a game, man. And you eat him, man. You're gonna be a, hey, and you're gonna be fresh meat, man. You're gonna be fresh meat, spoiled meat, but you're gonna be fresh meat, man. You're gonna be meat on a stick, man. Hey, just like the elder had that, his, his woman had the dream, uh, 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 I don't know, the brother in Chicago. He had that vision, and he said he saw the, he saw the Edomite on the wall trying to get away, and Jake pried him with, with broomsticks and shit, man. You know, he's like this, he gets stuck to the wall and shit. It's really gonna be that bad for you, man. Everything that you ever did in life is, is, gonna, is gonna pale in comparison to what your Howard Bashinga was shy and his men are gonna do to you when he comes back, man. Right. What you gonna do when those 25 inch pythons wrap around you? What you gonna do, brother? Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, you must be happy. 
Hey, so uh, you jakes, you get upset when you see these Edomites frolicking in the fucking sun, playing in the goddamn night. Hey, guess what? They need to be in that spirit. Because guess what? This is never going to happen again. Right. You ain't never. Hey, you know, I don't know if you brothers remember the movie back in the day, uh, School Days, man. And that nigga said, you ain't never seen no parts of the pussy. Guess what? You ain't never going to see no parts of the kingdom, nigga. Right. None. None. You ain't even going to breathe fresh. You won't you see the air. But guess what? You're going to be so deep in the minds, man. It ain't going to make no difference. You're going to be so deep in anguish and pain and, and destruction. It's not going to make no difference. So rejoice and be glad. You better enjoy it now. Hey, smoke them while you got them. Go ahead. America is the modern day land of us. It was a prominent nation. It was a prominent city in in uh in uh in ancient Edom, man. Go ahead. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. That cup of slavery, man. Hey, you can't beat slavery, man. Hey, you cannot you cannot doubt, you cannot excuse the fact that slavery destroyed a whole nation. How much more when it's done righteously, man? Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. You're going to be drunken and you're going to be naked. You're going to be drunken with punishment and judgment. And you're going to be naked. Go ahead. God, verse 22, last verse. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yep. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Right. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Hey. He will discover thy sin. Hey, so you, you jakes with those questions. Oh, what's going to happen if you put them in slavery and they come back up? Hey, it's never going to happen, man. Right. Hey, this is the last time we're going in slavery. This is the last time you Edomites are going to be in rulership, man. Right. Huh? And guess what? It's going to be so bad, your women not going to weep, man. That's right. And we're going to get the finest of the finest of the Edomites, man. That's and I'm right. always going to be the most racist. Hey, we saw one, didn't we? Hey, we saw this Edomite from Britain. Bitch like she was an Ephraimite, man. She had a beautiful tan. And it was like, damn, I was like, I didn't know she was an Edomite. So she said something, like Apostle Tahar said, man, hey, we're going to make the sun kiss you, man. We're going to turn them Edomites, they're going to start looking like Ephraimites, man. And they're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to think twice about their own nation, man. Hey, you think the nigga woman's bad, man. Wait till the Edomite woman get up in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Why do you hold it be sucking grapes? Why do you eat them as dusty as hell? Hey, you ain't putting your funky ass feet on my grapes, man. You gotta stomp them hoes. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, I don't like, I don't, hey, I'm good. Hey, hey that's right. Hey, the Lord said it's good. Hey, I it's, like my shit. Hand, hey. all, the, all the handmade shit be the best. Don't get wrong. Handmade Colossus, they, they last. I was more so for wine. Right. See, I'm gonna have it to where she gonna be. Hey, hey, I'm gonna have it to where that's your job. I don't want you to touch nothing. Bitch, you stopping grapes. Well, that bitch gonna be doing that six nine dance. That bitch not going to do that. That bitch not going to do that. That bitch not going to do that. That You be finished, man. Oh, hey, you gotta be finished. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, what do you want? Hey, hey, that's right. That's right. That's right, man. That's right, man. But yeah, you, you done with that, brother? Yeah, Go ahead. I'll uh, start off uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Uh -huh. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Yeah, all the nations, you're going to well. Because it's, it's the least, it's the, it's the last thing you expected, man. It's the last thing you expected, man. Nobody expected the Lord to come back looking like a so-called Negro, angry, blowing shit up. Yeah, because everybody thought that. Oh, I thought it was all about love. So what we need to do is just love. That's what Macron said. We, hey, we should have, you know, the black bitch said that. We should have loved more, man. What? You niggas don't love now. Fuck you mean you should have loved more? Go, that was it? Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Get your... It's the book of Micah, uh, chapter 5, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and in fury upon the heathen. Or well, such as they have not heard. Bring it out one more time. Right, right. Right. Micah 5 and 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Right, yeah. So everything that's coming to Babylon, aka America, has been already predestined, man. You know, it's already been prescribed that these heathens were going to be judged, okay? Because they are not like the nation of Israel, man. We are Yahweh by Shimei's chosen people, man. We were the ones that were created for this purpose of ruling forever. So, so the judgment and the execution that's coming to these heathens is going to be one in which has not been seen before on the face of this earth. That's right. See, these Edomites, these so-called white people, all the rest of these other heathen nations, Ham, Japheth, you know, Moab, 
airmen, they thought that they were going to keep the knowledge and the wisdom of who we are as a people away from us. That's right. But through the spirit of power, you have by Shimei Al-Shad, not only is that wisdom being given back to us, but the judgment and the execution of it. Read that again. It's the book of Micah, uh, chapter 5 and 15. Uh -huh. And I will execute vengeance. Execute vengeance. And so, so how is vengeance executed? By the sword, OK? See, the modern day sword for Esau, the so-called white man, is the gun, the weapon, you know? But the swords we have up here are spiritual swords. These one. spiritual That's swords one. can do more damage Different to you crackers one. than any of your oh, own missiles, your yeah, guns, your bullets. But here's the thing, we're also going to execute that same judgment physically. See, because just in the same way in which all of our, uh, our tribes were in captivity to you crackers, you so-called white people, okay, and you rejoiced in it. That's what the brother had called uh, a second ago. Rejoice, O Edom. You know, be glad. Because when that cup comes to you, you're not going to be glad at all. Hold on one second. Oh, go ahead, bring out what you got. This is Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. Right. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That's why scripture says you will receive double. Because not only for what you've done as far as touching the, uh, the eye, the apple of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai's eye, but what yeah, you've well, done uh, overall to the planet. The okay, the vibration in which Yahweh by Shimei Abishai created this earth to be in right. okay. only resonates with our people. Read. Thy reward shall return upon, upon thine own head. And that reward is recompense. Okay? Hardcore slavery, bondage, destruction, broken and shivers as a, a, a pot shard, okay? Straight up. These, these are the things in which Yahweh by Shimei al has only reserved for his elect. Is there right. more on that? It says, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Huh. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Exactly, so, so they took pleasure in drinking, in a sense, the blood of our people, okay? Hardcore slavery, throwing us off ships, feeding our babies to alligators, okay? Castration, buck breaking. Buck breaking. The yeah. list goes on and on for you goddamn crackers, man. That's right. You know? And here's the thing. All of these things are being revealed because as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, all the men of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, specifically the elect, so shall we drink unto you. That's right. That's right. But the difference is we are going to drink and we are going to rejoice forever. See, you only rejoice for a period of time. That's why you have guys like Trump and all these politicians trying to make America great again. It's like the way America was great in their eyes was when the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were underneath the heel of these so-called white people. That is what they rejoiced in. That's what they viewed America Babylon as being great. But it's not going to be great. It's not going to continue forever. Read that verse again one more time, Baba Kasha, that last part. See, because we can't wait to put our hands on you heathens just in the same fashion in which you put your hands on us. Right. Except we're going to have spiritual power with it. You know what I'm saying? That same spiritual power we wrestle with the angel with, we getting all that back. Right. You know? <laughs> go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Read, read uh, that. Verse over that 1 and 16. It right. says, for you have drunk upon my holy, for as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. That's right, exactly. So, so as hey, scripture says, uh, I believe it's somewhere in Job, uh, we're going we gonna to wake up, it's going to be as if they were a dream, as if the so-called white man never existed. It's going to be as if none of these other heathen nations existed because spiritually in our eyes right now, you people that have never existed before anyway. That's right. It's only been about the nation of Israel, specifically the elect. Yeah, this is Job chapter 20, verse 4. Uh -huh. Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou, knowest thou not this of old? Uh -huh. This man was placed upon earth, right. that the triumph of the wicked is short. It's short, meaning that there was a certain period of time in which these crackers, these Edomites, these so-called white people, these other heathen nations were going to be 
able to get away with murder and not be judged. Somebody hold uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 11. Go ahead. Come on. Notice God not this of old since, the, since man was placed upon the earth, uh -huh. that the triumphant of the wicked is short. It's and the, short. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. But for a moment. See, and it, it's identifying who these crackers are. They're hypocrites. You know, they'll smile on your face and then they'll poison your food. Right. You know, they'll, they'll say, hey, man, we need you to work this job. And then they'll take all your money from you before you even uh, have an end's work of, uh, of pay. You Edomites, you so-called white people are going to receive the worst judgment that has ever been written and proclaimed according to the Heavenly Father. Read right. that. That triumph of the wicked. The triumph, the triumph of the wicked is short, and okay. the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And but for a moment, because you're a hypocrite. See, right now you're saying you agree with us. The reason why you're saying you agree with us right now, because you're seeking love. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think that by agreeing with us, that you're going to befriend us, that we're going to be uh, uh, allies. We were never allies, okay? We were never allies in the spirit world. We were never allies in, in uh, uh, Re Rebecca's womb. <laughs> we're not allies right now. So there's nothing really that you can say that, that will make us feel any better about your people hey, why, exclusively. I have a question. Why do you, why do you agree with it? Why do, why do you agree that your nation is going to have the worst judgment in you know the this, this, state of The state of our country, and I, I think ultimately the white society that is America, yeah. The black community has been so patient. We're not black. Oh, well, the African community, or however way you want to put it, okay, has been so patient and has been uh, suppressed, has has had the vote stolen, yeah. has not been given equal say or equal vote in our society. That's and oh, and and, and to, to to need to have to protest. I agree a hundred percent. Okay. And as a Jew. Oh, I have a certain, I I have a certain know, element of appreciation, but at the same time, though, it's not my world, it's not my society, and what, 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 that, what your community has had to experience is not my experience, and it's unfair. Okay, so, just the so. point. So, you said you was a Jew, right? Well, guess what? I'm a Jew, too. Did you know that? You know I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? And guess what? So is this man, so is this man, and the rest of these men that you see out here. And guess what? You're not a Jew. What you are is, a, 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 what your okay. forefathers are, are nothing but um, converts, uh, converts, falsifiers, or liars, okay, cheaters, and guess what? It was because of the so-called Jew that the so-called Negro West Indian and Haitian got thrown on, uh, got thrown on slave ships and brought over here. Y'all were the heads of that. In yeah, fact, I don't know if you know about the Rothschilds or the Rockefellers, all those are so-called Jews, Jews, just like you, okay? And that you don't hold any historical or any uh, archaeological or any spiritual connection to the land, nor the God, nor the Savior, nor the people of Israel. And because that, because you're walking around here with our with our heritage, you're going to have a double of that judgment. Because you're an Amalek, man. you're an Amalekite, man. These are your people right here, man. These are your people. No, 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 no. So, so as the brother was saying, there's nothing that we can agree on. You know? I, somebody well, hold that's your most I'm not going to argue that. Well, I mean, I mean, you can't. You can't, you can't agree. And let them listen to this. Well, okay. two or not. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and, and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. The blasphemy. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. The, the synagogue. Satan. I'll go ahead, brother. You're the house of Satan, man. Yeah. Satan has a physical counterpart on the earth, and he is you. And you are him. You're not a Jew. You, they just said the, the Jews are in tribulation and poverty. No, the, the so-called Jew started off with him and even yourself. You're not in poverty. You never face poverty. You never don't. You can't go back to the to the to the gulag, or you can't go back to uh, to uh, World War II and say, oh, we were in we were in poverty. Guess what? That was manufactured. All of that whole situation was manufactured. Why? To push an agenda of the so-called Jew to keep these people on this side here blind and in slavery. Again, we have we do have Israelites that look like you. I'm not saying I'm not saying we don't have Israelites that look like so-called white people. 
We got Israelites that look like so-called Jews. But guess what? The point of the matter is the true Jews, the true Israelites, the true people of the Lord are the people that you see standing here in front of you, debating with you, speaking with you, okay? Even uh, being speaking to you in an authoritative form. Why? Because we're here to let you know. We are those people. We're not African. We're not right. black. Black is a color. Black is a government term that was no, given to us. African, African, African was a term that was pushed on us. We're not African. They, those people don't even like us. The people helped put us in slavery. The point of the matter is that your people are going to all go slavery. You're not a Jew. We're the Israelites. And at the end of the day, judgment is going to not only come to you, whether you agree with it, whether you don't agree with it, it's going to come to all these nations, man. That's it. You got it. That's right. That's right. Hey, hey, that's Revelations 13 well, you guys. man. All right. Hey, hey, because his people funded the uh, the, the slave trade, man. Them coming up, uh, uh, them bringing us yeah. over here. And they want to bring up the Holocaust and things of that nature. That pair, what we went through... What they went through, pair, even if it was real, it pairs in comparison to, to, to what to what we've they been through, people. man. We they ain't our people. Right. They ain't our people. Okay. They, that's pairs in comparison to, to, to what we've been through. they ain't. Okay. Like hey, 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 brother. If you want to stay here, you gotta you gotta humble down, bro. You gotta chill out, baby. You gotta chill out. It seems like you geeked up too. You need to chill out. My girl. Somebody Arabian. Uh, hey, 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 but somebody can you get the scriptures because these demons out. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to feed my you, woman you, some other shit. And I'm ready to go to the penitentiary or whatever. Yeah. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Yo. Ezekiel hey, somebody pour uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 12. Too. Yeah. Therefore, thus said the Lord Paul. Uh, therefore, yeah. thus, there, slap it. Thus said the Lord Yahweh by seeing I was shot. Hey, man, that shows the curses too, man. Yep. Because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus says the Lord Power, I will also shut out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate and teeming, and there the dead shall fall by the sword. That's right, that, that word teeming is was, was a city in Edom, man. And it's going into how that place of uh, Edom which is like we like to say that that, that, that Israel is a place before a people, which he was Tima is a is a people for a place, right? Right. right? So that place is going to be uh, just totally destroyed, man. Right. All those people are going to be totally destroyed. Right. It's going to be a recompense. Why is that? Because they put us into hardcore slavery. Right. People want to talk about the Holocaust and how millions have died. What about them bringing us over here? They say one or what? Well, 1.6 million died on the way getting over here. The Holocaust ended. The Holocaust ended. Yeah, Ninety-eight percent of Native Americans were, were, were decimated by the so-called white man. And still to this day, they're living in squalor. And you think that you you gonna get away with that, man? But then you can come over here and say, you know what? I totally agree with you. And everything's gonna be okay? No, man. Hey, that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, though you go uh, crouching yourself, take good heed, man, and to never trust thy enemy, because that's what he's done. Historically speaking, year after year, over a hundred trees with the so-called Native Americans, man, all of them broken. Till this day, I and, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. That's right. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger, That's and right. according to the fury, and they shall know my vengeance. Said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shot. Hey, that's why we, we praise the Lord, man. Call Allah, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shot. But guess what, man? He, hey, he gave us the, uh, the, the antidote to all this madness and this disease. Right. By, get, by, by bestowing us this truth, man. And with this understanding, we're out here proclaiming so we can be those men that were prescribing Ezekiel. To do what? To take over uh, uh, our enemies, man. Hey, hey, and Sirach, Lucy paraphrasing. That's hey, that's a blessing to see the downfall of your enemy. God. And we're, we're at the state, the beginning stage of Edom's downfall, man. You see? Call Allah Yahweh by Shimmy Hawa Shah, man. Go ahead, my brother. This is uh Sirach chapter 12, verse uh 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly Woo. with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth. How to throw thee into a pit. And that's the so and that's the so-called white man. I, I like to read uh, uh uh various books about war, things of that nature. One one book that I kind of skimmed over, it's a uh, it's a uh, the art of war, and it's very easy to read too. And one uh, uh uh one adjective that he used to describe the war is this: he said, All war is based off of deception. 
And that's the so-called white man's emo, man. Right. He uses deceit in order to basically encapsulate the people. Case in point, uh, going over to the Middle East, he said, you know what, we're doing this to free the people, like the, like the brother was bringing out. We're doing this to free the people. It's all about freedom. And he went over there and, and, and totally bombed and destroyed the, uh, the, the government, man. Displaced people, okay, took over their natural resources in various places. Case in point, look at Afghanistan. Production of opium uh, has increased 300%, and that was way in 2007, that statistic. You can only imagine now. It was all cracked out underneath the bridges on heroin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you got people over here cracked out. Right. It's getting so bad, now they're going to put a chip, the chip in people to stop them from, uh, from, from taking these pills, man. God. So, the, so we all, we know how the, how the so-called white man gets down, man. You see, it's all about deception, lies, and deceit. You see? And with them, them those same lies and deceit, it's going to engulf him, man. And it says in, in, in Psalms, the 64th chapter, that his tongue shall fall on himself, man. The way of the so-called white man, his so-called culture, where culture means a, a way of life, is it's, it's destroying him, man. And, and we praise you. How about you? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know? Right. Go ahead, my brother. It says... He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Oh man, that makes me, as you was reading that, that made me think about just a, a, a random white guy who come up to you and talk to you about, about uh, slavery. What we did to you at the bar, what we did to you guys, yep. all over you, you know, breathing all over you. What we did, you know what I'm talking about? Good. What we did was right. wrong. Right. We, they were wrong. We were wrong. But them come, don't, them immigrants coming over here, undocumented? No, I can't agree with that. The white man's undocumented, man. Hey, you, you came over here undocumented on them filthy ass, decrepit ass, Nina, Nina and the Prince, uh, the fucking Plymouth Rock, whatever that bullshit you came off on, you came over here as an immigrant, man. Right. Our people helped you out, man, and what you do, you shit it on them, man, because that enmity between you and us, okay? So, you calling somebody an immigrant, man, you need to look at yourself in the mirror, man. Biggest alien. The biggest alien on the fucking earth, man. <laughs> Aliens! Aliens! It says, I'm gonna read that again. It says, he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. That's right. If adversity. He's not gonna be satisfied with blood. So what does that mean? He, hey, hey, the so called white man, he wants everything, man. He doesn't just want to kill you, man. He wants to be you. And he has done that in numerous uh, incarnations, man. Right. He loves to put everybody else And, and everybody that, uh, that, that he goes around, he'll take over that, 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 that culture, man. Case in point, the Ptolemaic Empire. Yes, the Ptolemaic Empire were, were, were Greeks that were trying to be uh, 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 so-called uh, Hamites, man. And that's where you get uh, Chesare Bozur from, well, that, which is Serapis Christus, OK? That came from uh, what Ptolemy the uh, the first. He wanted to make himself a, 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 a deity, you see. And right. so what did he do? He went over there and threatened the, the priests of the uh, the Hamites and said, "If you don't make me a, a, a god, I'm gonna slay your people." You see. So what did they do? Uh, uh, of course they consented. Right. You see. Of course they did. That's the so-called white man's mo. He go over. He say everything is all good. Make various treaties with you. Like he did in the time of Maccabees, okay, made various treaties with uh, with uh, 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 Jonathan and Simon and broke them, man. Jonathan was killed under, under the premises of peace. He was invited to a banquet, so he sent some of his, uh, some of his army away, and the people that stayed with him, what happened? Killed. You see what I'm saying? Hey, 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 you got some, my brother? Yeah, some of your order yeah, that? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, okay. Brother, 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 you know, do his thing, you know. It's verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Uh -huh. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Hey, hey, say, if adversity comes, you're going to find him first. What does that mean? So you get in a time of trouble, he's going to be the first one that turn his back on you, man. You see? And that and that is the so-called white man. Yep, you see, he'll 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 lie in wait 
wait for you to uh, uh, to to have a, a bad uh, be in a bad situation yep. in order for him to take you over. He does yep. it in business all the time. Yep. That's right. Case in point, look at all these 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 uh, various loans that was given, these subprime loans that was given out. You know what? You're a first time uh, homeowner. Yep. I want you to have this house, Tyrone. Right. Okay. Right. Get you in there. You can barely make the payments. And then the feds uh, crank up the interest rate rates, and what happened? You lose it. Right. So he'll take it. He'll take it. Uh, your uh, your four goes home at pennies for pennies yep. and resell it. Yep. And make you a uh, slave, a more of a debt slave. You see? That's the so-called white man. He is not to be trusted. Self-proclaimed white man. Right. Self. -pro the water elder. Self-proclaimed white man. <laughs> last, last verse. He says, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. That's right. Change his countenance. That, that word countenance, if you look it up in the Hebrew, it means panya, uh, which means his face. That's right. You see? So what is that going into? He, he, he changed his look. That's that hypocrisy. And, and that's that hypocrisy that the deacon was bringing out. At one in one moment he's uh, he, I'm all for protest. Yeah, but when he go home, he's not he's not uh, 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 talking about us in, in, in a in, in a positive light. Right. He sees us as a threat. You see. So join hey, hey so join uh, don't join hand in hand. The wicked should not go unpunished, man. I'm sorry, I, you had something. Yeah, just shut it off. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 6, yeah. oh, yeah. says, Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Want to speak on it, my brother? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'll speak on it because yeah, go that, go, that goes back to the uh, uh, precept that the brother brought out. As far as that cup, man, as he was drinking upon the holy mountain of the nation of Israel. So, so because the so-called white man loved blood so much, since he loved killing by the sword, uh, anybody holding that Revelation 13 and 9? Okay, let's bring that out real quick. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay, once again, the so-called white man led our people into captivity, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right, go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. So let's bring that back out in uh, Ezekiel 35. This is Ezekiel 35 and 6. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right. I will prepare thee unto blood. Who is this talking about? This is talking about these Edomites, these so-called white people. You are getting prepared for blood. Right. Okay? Since you love blood so much, you drink blood, you know, you make all these wicked-ass sacrifices by blood. You know, since you love blood so much, what's the scripture say? Go ahead. It says, I will prepare you unto Lift blood. Voice, brother. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, right. even blood shall pursue thee. So that same blood in which you were killing bloodshed after generation after generation is now going to come back on you. Okay? Because that's what you liked. You like to see our people in disparity and broken and downtrodden, you know? We should just get over it. Yeah, we should just, hey, you know, it's crazy. Uh, they had a, uh, in, a, uh, in the 60s, about the late 50s, early 60s, they had an interview with a bunch of Edomites about, you know, blacks in America and all this other stuff. And this Edomite lady said, look, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. My father had nothing to do with it. Look, it happened. Just get over it. Right. Let it go, yeah. okay? You can move on. You can be better in this life. Yeah, they had a, a poll in the 1960s about racism, and the same the same percentage of people in the 1960s said that basically racism didn't exist in America. This is in the 60s. Right. As as today, the same sentiment, man. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, people were getting this is back when they had the German shepherds. This is back when they had the water hoses. Niggas getting, they put mustard all on your head while you sitting there trying to get a pie. Right. Yeah. Said they, they, they were doing uh, surveys and interviews with people back in the 60s saying what did they th think about racism in, racism in America. And the same percentage as today believe that, no, racism is not that bad. Right. Pretty much, right. pretty much equal. 
That's the sentiment. Right. Because you're not going through it, man. Right. You know, the vast majority of these Edomites, man, they don't know what racism is, man. I was saying before, like, the closest they've seen a black person, man, is on a video, man. You niggas shucking and jiving. Or, 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 gang, or gangland documentary, man. That's the closest they've seen you. So when they, so they don't, they don't have to face being called a nigga. They don't have to be in face of a disenfranchisement. They don't have to face with uh, being told no at the loan office, man. Right. Anything they want, they can get it. It's up they grasp, man. So of course, of course, racism is not a problem for them, man. But see, when you're going through it, when your ass is going through it, we're going to be the same way. we like, hey, look, man, I pull myself up. Why can't you? You know what I'm saying? Right. I work hard. Why can't you work hard? But you can, you can work as hard as you want, but it's never going to be enough, man. Right. You ain't never gonna, you ain't never gonna see no parts of the kingdom again. Like I say, man, it's the truth. It's the truth because race, to be racist, to be racist, you have to be blind to somebody else's plight, man. Right. And the so-called white man is blind to our plight. He knows it's happening, but it doesn't. It's not, it's not affecting him. Right. Yeah. yeah, because because he really doesn't recognize anyone aside from his people. You know, and and that's part of the reason why.